You're now tuned in to the Lady Charmaine Live Show, and I'm your host, Lady Charmaine. And as always, I got another great interview for you today. And I'll tell you who it is coming up right after this. guest today is an actor who has appeared in films and television shows like The Resident, Startup, How to Get Away with Murder, Superfly, and Get On Up. And he is here today to talk about his new series, High Town. Help me welcome to the Lady Charmaine live show, Mr. Atkins Estamond. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Charmaine. How are you doing? I am wonderful. First, my question is for you. Now, I know that Georgia has opened all up and everybody's roaming around the community. Are you roaming around or are you still quarantining? I'm still staying quarantined. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm really ready to, to kind of roll the dice. I know the rest of the state is, is, uh, <laughs> is taking a <laughs> chance, but I got to keep my family safe and healthy. So I'm, I'm so we're still hunkered down here. Absolutely. It's similar. Look, I'll let y'all be the testers and, you know, we're going to find out how y'all fare in a couple of weeks. I know that's right. Now, my question for you, since you've been quarantining, yeah. how have you been keeping busy? Well, I have a 13 month old daughter, so it's never a dull <laughs> moment around our house. She keeps me, she keeps me on my toes and, and pretty busy. <laughs> Well, I want to say congratulations. I saw that you announced that on November 4th, you are going to be welcoming a new bundle of joy. How exciting is that? Oh, very exciting. That's some very, very good news. And uh, yeah, we're really excited for the addition to, to the family. I'm, I'm happy to be a girl dad for a second time. So <laughs> um, uh, it's a great time. Oh, you're having another girl. Yeah. Yeah. Another little girl. Okay. And now, would you be shooting your shot in the future for a boy? We'll see. I mean, I the more we have, the more work I got to do. So I, I'm I'm kind of weighing my options, but I, I would be happy with another another one and a boy. Yeah. Now I know um, Atkins. You have been in several films and television shows. I wanted to know when did the acting bug hit you? You know, um, the first time I really got any kind of inspiration to act uh, was uh, when I was in actually in elementary school. Uh, my brother was in this program in the Boys and Girls Club called Love Well, I believe it was. And um, they would do plays and all kinds of performing arts things like that. Um, and I'd go watch his shows, and that was the first time I really felt any kind of bug or inspiration to act. And um, the first time I really had an opportunity was when I was in high school. So I did theater all throughout high school. And after I graduated... I was doing different jobs, and uh, you know, I was actually playing in a band. I was a musician, and uh, but I still had friends that were acting, and mm -hmm. and the industry in Atlanta started to really pick up. There were a lot of projects shooting here, TV and film. So I said, you know, um, I still really got the bug kind of biting me. Let me give it a shot again. But you know, instead of doing the stage, I went back for film and TV, and. Uh, got myself an agent in town and, you know, one thing led to another, some opportunities started lining up and here we are. So what was your very first project? Um, the very first thing that I booked, uh, well, I mean, I was the extra. <laughs> the first thing I can really think that I actually worked on, I was the extra on, I want to say Teen Wolf on MTV. Mm. Um, but the first thing where I actually had some lines, I want to say it was the game. I did that. I had like two lines <laughs> in the game. Uh, I don't know if you remember that show. I oh, do I remember the back. show? I remember uh, the pilot. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was in, I want to say the fourth season of that, I think. Okay. Third or fourth season. Okay. And so now you're in a brand new show. Mm -hmm. It's on stars. It's called high town. And you know, I got a chance to actually watch the preview and boy, did you have a grand insurance? I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> when you hit the scene, <laughs> I was like, yeah, Dang. yeah, that, yeah, yeah. It's a very kind of catches you off guard. Yes. But I'm really excited about this show. It's a, uh, it's a really great project, a very different role for me. I've never played a, you know what you would call a villain or an antagonist. So I'm I'm really excited about it. I was excited about the challenge. That's what initially drew me to this project. 
But um, yeah, the show essentially it follows this woman Jackie Quinones, who's like you know this hard partying marine fisheries agent, and um, she finds a body washed up on the beach, and that kind of kicks off her journey to sobriety, and then she feels compelled to kind of try and solve this murder. And uh, essentially, I'm a hitman. I'm the one that murdered that young woman. And um, uh, I work for this organization that's moving drugs into Cape Cod. And um, it's a really great show. It's, it's a crime drama, but it's different from, I think, what uh, other crime dramas have been offering, the way that it explores sobriety and its addiction. And mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's a very well put together show. Great cast, great writing. Yeah, because I was really surprised when I saw that um, she was on a narcotics with her position i'm like okay yeah. well this is a whole lot going on here so that's very good so oh so for you what else do you have in the works well i mean with the lockdown happening as it's been it's kind of brought the industry to a halt so mm-hmm. there's not a whole lot of projects filming at the moment so i've really just kind of been focused on the premiere of this show and you know really trying to push that and you know once things get back rolling again you never know where i might pop up so when you are not auditioning, when you're just with your family, what are some of the things that you like to do? Who is Atkins Estimond Offset? <laughs> Offset, I mean, I, I'm a pretty chill guy. I love spending time with my family, with my friends. Um, I'm, I'm in Atlanta. Um, so I, I'm a, like I said, I was a musician, so I love music. Actually, that's something that's kind of been... Um, I've been doing a lot more of since we've uh, been in the quarantine Mm -hmm. and then as I found myself getting back into music more. So, um, so yeah, I'm a very easygoing chill guy. Like outside of the work, I I try to stay with my family. I feel like, you know, that keeps me grounded. uh, And I just enjoy being around my friends and family. Now you said you were a musician. What instrument do you play? I play the guitar. Do you, do you sing as well? Yeah, I sing as well. I don't really <laughs> consider myself a singer, but, <laughs> but I do sing. What kind of music do you play? Um, well, when I was playing in the band, I was playing mostly rock, but oh. um, I love all kinds of music. I'm, I'm, I'm just a fan. So who would, like, who would be like your mm-hmm. inspiration since you say you like rock? Who would be like your inspiration? Um, I love uh, Hendrix. I love ACDC. I love um, Led Zeppelin. Um, Ooh. Metallica, all kinds of bands. Really? Um, but I mean, I also like funk. I like Parliament. I like uh, Bootsy. Um, I, I, I don't know. I just I, I, if it's good music, it's good to me. Well, you totally shocked, and I would not have expected you to say uh, rock music at all. So that's good that it, it lets me know that you are definitely <laughs> a well-rounded brother. So I'm not mad at you at all. <laughs> Well, Atkins, Absolutely, yes. yeah. Well, I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. And I want to remind the audience to make sure that they tune in on Sunday, May the 17th, to High Town, premiering on Star, starring Atkins Estemond. He is going to surprise you when he hit this screen. So don't be shocked, okay? Just, just you've been warned. That's all <laughs> I can say. <laughs> well, Atkins, I want to say again, thank you so much for coming on the show. And I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. You're welcome and have a blessed day. Bye-bye. You as well. Bye.